Hi builders, today we're going to go through something that has been trending recently, DeepSeek and its latest model V3 and how you can create agents with it in NA10 in very few and simple steps. So one of the reasons you're probably here is because of the really cheap inference costs or input prices. This model does 1.4 cents per million tokens, which is again ridiculous. And if you want to see it in a different way, we have a graph here that measures the ratio of language understanding, which is a typical metric that you use to measure model performance. And we're dividing it by the input price or the inference costs. If you do that, you can see how DeepSeek V3 is on this optimum range compared to these other flagship models that you've probably used before. And how is this possible? How is it able to perform so well whilst having such little costs? The main reason is because of the architecture that it uses in the background. So it combines a set of specialized sub-models that are each specialized in a specific domain instead of one large one, like most models use. And the great thing about this is that based on the query, it might not need to use all of the sub-models. And if it doesn't use all of the sub-models, then it's going to save on costs. Here you can see other performance metrics that it excels at. So here it's really good at math reasoning and also code reasoning as well, by a lot actually, as well as doing very good in the other metrics as well. And this is a test that people do to measure the performance when it comes to retrieving information in large context windows. As you can see here, this is for DeepSeek V3. It pretty much nails the whole graph, which is amazing, right? It gets a 10 out of 10 score in all of the graphs. This might seem normal, but look at ChatGPT4. So you can see there the difference in performance when it comes to retrieving information. So this is amazing. Okay, now we're gonna go through how to use it within NA10 and create agents with it. Let's go. All right, so we're going to go to NA10 and let's open a new workflow. Now we're going to interact with the agent via the on chat message trigger so that we're able to chat via this UI. Now we're going to select Advanced AI and let's select the AI agent node and you'll be presented with this. Cool. Now we need to select the chat model and you'll quickly realize that you can't select the DeepSeek V3 model via their own provider. So there's a little trick to overcome this and that's by selecting the OpenAI chat model. And now what we're going to do is access the Open Router API. If you don't know what Open Router is, Open router is a platform that provides a unified hub, if you may, for accessing many different large language models from different providers. And this just simplifies the integration of multiple models into applications like the demo agent that we're building today. Okay, so the first thing that we have to do is set up a credential. So how do you get this credential? Let's create a new credential and you need an API key. Where do we get this from? Well, after you create your account and then put in some credits, you have, I think, a dollar of credits before you need to add five dollars. But nevertheless, I suggest that you add these credits. Then you're going to go to the key section and you're going to create a new key. So let's call it something like any 10 demo 2 because I have one called demo already. Let's hit create and you're going to copy this. We're going to copy this key, this API key and save it somewhere secure. Okay, given that you've saved it somewhere, you're gonna come back to any 10 and paste it here. And make sure that you call it something that makes sense so that you don't confuse yourself with the various API keys that you might have saved here or the various credentials that you might have saved. So let's call this open router API demo. And let's hit save. Cool. Okay, it says credential successfully created right here. As you can see, let me move this here. So credential saved. And you'll see this error here. I believe this is a bug because I tried this before and this actually works. So you can ignore that. Okay, press X. And now you're gonna have to select a model. Okay, so the way you do this is by selecting the expression tab and then deleting all this. We're gonna type in the model manually. So you're gonna come back to open router, come back to the main menu, or just go to the search tab and search for DeepSeek V3. Make sure to not confuse it with a V2.5. So we're gonna go in there and below the name, below the title, you're going to see this thing that you can copy. So go ahead and copy that, come back and then paste it right here. Cool, but we're not done yet. So now you need to go to options and select the base URL. Right now it says API OpenAI, but we're going to choose the open router base URL and that is to be found a bit below here. So if you go down, a bit more down, don't select this one. We're going to select the one with the OpenAI SDK. So go ahead and copy this right here, base URL. Go back and paste it right there. Now we're gonna come back to add, if you want, some buffer memory so that you can have a longer conversation with the agent so that it remembers a few previous interactions with the agent. You can put it to eight, it's up to you, but there you go. You can add tools and other stuff to your workflow, but for demonstration purposes, I'll just leave it like this. Cool, it's safe, and now you're ready to go. Let's ask it something. So, who is Michael Jackson? I don't know why I always ask this. 
Who is Michael Jackson? Okay, cool. So we receive pretty lengthy answer. Okay, cool, makes sense. So he knows about Michael Jackson. And if you wanna know if you know, you're know you calling the model that you're expecting it to call, you can go back to DeepSeek and then go to activity. Okay, there's a section called activity right here. And here you're going to see a log of the API calls that you made to open router. So it's 654, 17th of January. And you can see here, I did make the call indeed. So I think I've called other models before, such as, look, so I called also Llama 3 as well there. But yeah, you can select and you can also see the cost. Cool. So then we go back and that's kind of a way to know if you actually made the API call with the right model. So that's correct. It was DeepSeek v3. And I'm gonna show you something very interesting, okay? Now that we know that it's DeepSeek. We're gonna ask it, what model are you? I don't know if many of you know, but DeepSeek v3 was mainly trained using OpenAI data. So I'm gonna ask it, what model are you? And you're going to see that it says, I am based on OpenAI's GPT-4 architecture, specifically fine-tuned for tasks providing helpful and all that. So you can see there it's being trained using GPT-4 data. It doesn't specifically say open GPT-4 architecture. It really depends on how you ask it, right? But I did have other interactions where I told it, what model are you? It said, well, I am a model from OpenAI. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much it right there. And that's it. Go ahead and add other things to it. Go ahead and build you know, nice and functional systems from here. And yeah, let me know what you built with DeepSeek v3 down in the comments below. If you want me to make a quick video as well on open router and how it works and all of the quirks and features that it has, let me know down in the comments below. I can take you through a little introduction to it. And that's pretty much it. That's all I had to say for this video. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. It helps a lot. And if you didn't like the video, please let me know down in the comments below and let me know why. Great. Having said that, I hope that you had a great start to the new year and let's get going. See you on the next one.